Oh, I wasn't listening to the tube, ma. Just, just watching. Say that again? Uh, yeah, well, I'll see you in surgery, huh? He doesn't know. He says that the uh, NBA ain't been around in a couple of months, which maybe it was a scout or something. So, yeah. You're a pretty little square. Goodbye. This is your brain. What if we're not? What if we're two rights and everybody else is wrong? I'm not gonna let her be a joke. I like to wear women's clothes. Panties, brassieres, sweaters, pumps. You want Don Juan de Marco, the world's greatest lover, to talk to you. Do you know my poetry? Tell me why he's dead. Because you killed him. What I'm saying to you is you should give it to somebody that don't know any better because that's a fugazi. But if I tell you something, does that mean you can't tell anybody? I forgot about the beer. You want some? How about some ether? What? You killed for those. They're worth more than money. I stand up for sense and justice. Then what are you? Well, because we river rats are the dregs of society with horrible diseases and criminal impulses. <laughs> when you think about it, what did I really do? I crossed an imaginary line with a bunch of plants. <laughs> this ain't killing for profit. This is ritual. Always remember this is the day that you almost caught Captain Jack Sparrow. Look me in the eyes. Maybe he wants me to what? To get confused. I'm not alone. I'm not a bird. I'm not an animal. I'm not a bird. She went to Neverland. And you can visit her when you want. Anytime you like. Three. Four. Four years ago. Everything in this room is eatable. Even I'm eatable. But that is called cannibalism, my dear children, and is in fact frowned upon in most societies. I think you dropped this. Look what I got. I got a jar of dirt, I got a jar of dirt, and guess what's inside it? You may kill me, but you may never insult me. Who am I? I'm Captain Jack Sparrow. At last, my arm is complete again. They won't get sick or feeble. They are beyond fear. Because they are forever young. You can be a dead hero or a live coward. Get it over. I don't like it in here. It's terribly crowded. I'm sorry. What for? <laughs> Spoons, you got the most important job of all. You stay up here on the ridge, and if anything goes wrong, you give the signal. You are Jack Sparrow. There should be a captain in there somewhere. What are you talking about? Your tongue belongs to Satan. Are you out of your mind? Keep it out! What do you think people are thinking here when I'm sitting with my rabbi? Shut the fuck up! The little dweebs just ruined a five-year investigation. Give me one good reason why I should not kill you this instant. After hunting 26 years, I had my prey. Until you interfered. You're a great kid. Deadening. Deadly. Death. I am Guy Lapointe. That is my name, Guy Lapointe. And I spent 20 years as the inspector of the Sûreté du Québec. And what might be in your basket? Mordecai. Lord of Silverdale. I should like to request a bucket of ice, a little stub sign, and a bulldozer. Trinity Bulger? 
The last thing I would do if I was planning to harm you is to warn you in advance, you dumb fuck. That's a very good title. Guy La Pointe and the Winnipeg Walrus. God damn it, I should have chose that title. Do you know that this is the second best-selling book of all time? After the Bible, which took 12 guys to write. And you know what? It's boring. Very boring. It's you. You're you again. Well, if I'm not, I wish I was. Do you think you can hold me? Why don't we try good old-fashioned stoning, eh? I'd kill to be stoned right now. Eyes linger any longer, I'll have to charge rent. I'll pay. He's not listening, look. Oh, good. You stopped talking. Now we can go to the gallery. Oh. And today is your lucky day. Because I'm like a fucking historian and I celebrate every moment, celebrate every fucking breath. I'm telling you, life. It's a bird's song. Pledge to me your eternal allegiance. Or die. I'm obsessed with the truth, and that's my sickness. We will end these troubles. We will put down the enemy. And that will be the end of it. You, you know, uh, the Native Americans, they believed that a photograph would take a piece of the subject's soul. But what, what gets left out of the fine print is that it can also take a piece of the photographer's soul.